Hey guys, hope we're doing well. My name is Jackie and in this video, I wanna talk about why I think the M1 MacBook Air is the best laptop for students. Before we get any further, I just wanted to reiterate that this is the only machine that I use for the whole of my workflow, ranging from the less intensive things such as taking notes and browsing the web, all the way up to video editing, coding, 3D animation, and sometimes even light gaming. As you can clearly see, I'm not joking when I'm saying this is a very good computer because otherwise it would not make sense for me to use it as my primary driver. And also I don't have many subscribers so it's not like anyone's paying me to say this. So you can trust what I'm saying and just take it at face value because um, I'm not getting anything out of this. At the time of recording this video, I've been using the M1 MacBook Air for around one year and it pretty much takes off every single criteria you would look for in a school laptop. As a student, one of the main things that I look for in a laptop is actually battery life. I feel like this isn't something that a lot of people talk about because you can just bring your charging brick to school, but I change classrooms four to five times a day. So it becomes really inconvenient when I have to keep plugging it in. And on top of that, I don't always have access to a charging port. So it becomes pretty important that the laptop can last throughout the whole day or close to a full day without having me to consistently look for a port to plug it in. And the M1 MacBook Air definitely delivers very strongly in this area because the chip in there isn't just very powerful, which I'll talk about a little later, but it's also very efficient on energy, which means very good battery life. And that is certainly the case here because I would often come home from a full day of work and still have 20 to 30% battery left. And when you compare it to the older generation Intel based MacBooks, they would often run out at 12 o'clock to one o'clock midday using the same workflow. So in this area, I'm definitely very impressed with it. So normally when there's something good in the machine, there is often a setback or a trade-off. So for example, good battery life and poor performance. But as you guys already know, this is not the case with the M1 MacBook Air. Because I'm an IT and software student, a lot of my workflow is actually quite hard to run and CPU intensive because there's a lot of coding, there's a lot of graphical design, which isn't the easiest to run on a normal computer. And I'm not saying that this computer can run it lag free all the time. It does lag out sometimes, but so does a 16 inch MacBook Pro, which is like twice the price. So I can't complain there. So what I'm trying to say here is the M1 MacBook Air is definitely a very capable machine. And just because you're planning on doing something a little bit more intensive on it, it doesn't mean that it won't work. For me, my workflow isn't easy to run. It works out quite okay and i don't think i need to swap anytime soon so you guys should look into it as well another thing that i look for in a laptop is actually the feel of the keyboard because you're going to spend most of the time interacting with it when you're using your computer and if the keys feel mushy and unresponsive it's not very motivating especially when you're writing up like a 3000 word report once again, Apple does not disappoint here. The keyboard is very tactile. The travel distance is decent and it sounds pretty good. And obviously it's not like a mechanical keyboard or anything like that, but considering it's coming from a laptop, I'm not complaining. I'm sure you would have heard about this already from a thousand reviews, but I can double confirm that the speakers on this laptop is very very good probably one of the best speakers i've heard from a laptop in a long long time and the inbuilt microphone definitely lives up to standard as well because it's very crisp very clear and it's perfect for zoom meetings although i'm a really big fan of the laptop i do have a few complaints here and there they're nothing major but i do want to say that the webcam absolutely sucks it's still 720p and everything just looks pixelated and washed out, especially in the world of online Zoom meetings and just online meetings in general. Having a good looking camera or webcam definitely starts to become a necessity. Hopefully Apple fixes this in the next generation by adding a better camera. And the next thing I wanna talk about is the overall design of the laptop. I think it's due for like a slight upgrade or refresh in terms of design. They've had this for a while now and I feel like it's starting to become a little outdated, especially when you look at the bezels and you compare it to today's standards. But once again, I'm just nitpicking here. It's not a big deal. I still love the laptop. Overall, I reckon this laptop is gonna tick a lot of boxes for most students out there. And in my opinion, probably one of the best laptops on the market today, especially if you want it to last. That about sums it up for this video. If it helped, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next week's video.